Hi everybody, it's Fragrant Jock here with another honest opinion. I've not done one for a couple of weeks now, so I don't do as many now. I don't buy as many aftershaves now anyway, as I say in previous ones, uh, videos, I've went full circle. Um, <clears throat> some of the OGs are just disappointing for me and some of the actual decent clones are very good. KDJ, KDJ is a very good house. They're not all great, but most of them I've tried so far are quite just as good as the OGs and a lot, lot cheaper. Whereas some people might not, you'll just never be able to afford some of the most expensive ones. Anyway, Rosa Salas is another one that's really good. Customer service is second to none. Um, Dua, again, does some really good ones. But be careful with Dua. Um, you know, they're not all great, but a lot of them are quite good and quite strong. I would say out, out, out of most of the clone houses, I would say, you know, they've all got certain fragrances that are quite strong. Uh, I'd say Dua's probably, are probably the strongest. Um, a lot of KDJ's ones are strong because they're 50% oil. Um, same as Rosa Salas, they do extract as well and Alexandria is another good one um, but today I've got three alternatives to Hox Lux uh, by Rosa Perfumes which is an extortionate, uh, pr extortionately priced fragrance um, uh, I would say it's more masculine but you know it could be worn by females as well it could be unisex um, I think a bottle of Hawks Lux will set you, set you back something like £2,500 and Harrods or whatever. It's got gold leaves in it. But I mean, at the end of the day, unless you're going to stare at the gold leaves all day in your mantelpiece, who really cares? It's the juice that counts. But I've got three alternatives and three good alternatives to Hawks Lux. If you like that, it's a luxurious, rich smell, Hawks Lux. It, to me, it is quite masculine. Um, and it's great for the winter time. Um, and the three that I've got in front of me, here they are here, are very reasonably priced because £2,500, a lot of people just never get a sniff at that. You can get samples. I had a very, very tiny sample. And I'll tell you what one comes the closest to that sample that I had. But they're all very, very good. They're all similar. Um, the first one is a KDJ one, which I've used quite a lot. It's quite thick. This is 50% extract. And this is one of the dearer ones on their website. I think for um, for the 50 mLs extract, I think it's something like 50 odd pound. But compared to £2,500, it's still a bargain. Yes, no frills uh, packaging. But it's a juice that counts for me because I put them all in a dark, dark cupboard. I don't leave them out. To admire the bottles um, and this is really good I've worn this a few times and it sticks out and it lasts it's very masculine so that's the first one that that's about um, as I say 50 odd pound for the 50 mLs extract and that is very close to the original the second one I've got is the Dua version and this is called gold label this has got the gold leaves in it if you can see them somewhere there they're at the bottom um, Know that that matters to me, it's got gold labels. Quite nice presentation. Um, I've used a wee bit of that as well. I mix them. And they are kind of similar in the colour. I'd say the KDG is a bit darker. Um, but the gold label, really nice. Slightly different, slightly sweeter than the, the KDG and the Rosia, I would say. But this is very good as well. I'd say this is probably the strongest out of the three. It really is potent for winter winter days, winter nights, and it really is nice. Great fragrance for Christmas time, if you're going to a house or whatever. Um, but, you know, and this one is priced. Uh, I got this off, um, it wasn't due, it was the one in London, uh, who uh, obviously shipped due over. I can't remember their name. Sent to sent to London or something that's it's called. I bought a few of them. Um... And this cost me about £50. But if you go on to Dua's website, it's about $100. So 
it's quite that that to me was a good price. Um, 30 mls it comes in. This is about the strongest out of the lot of them, but not quite my favourite. I'll tell you that in a minute. The next one is the perfume parlour one. This is the X X straight as well, and they call this hand high grandeur. Um, this is the fifty percent extract, X straight, and this one was about forty five. This was about fifty pound as well. So this is one of the dearer ones on their website as well. Um, another great one, and I would say the duo is probably the longest lasting. And the perfume parlour is about the second, and the KDJ comes in third for longevity. Um, but the perfume parlour is no far away in longevity. Projection-wise, I would say they're all equal in project projection, definitely. Um, but the perfume parlour one is, uh, you know, a wee bit like the do, a wee bit sweeter than the KDJ. But I, I like the KDJ, and it is quite potent. I would say my favourite. And the closest one out the lot to the original is probably Perfume Parlours. And second place, I would say KDJs, because I do like that. It does project well, and I've used a lot of it, and I've got a couple of compliments with it, and it really is a nice juice. And I would say third is a doer. And, and that, you know, the reason why it's third as well is you're only getting 30 mLs with this. You know, it, it is nice. But I would never buy it again. I would go with the other two. Um, but this will last me ages. I mean, 30 ml for 50 odd pound or $100 if you're going on the website. Um, maybe it was slightly more than 50 pound. Um, and the other two you're getting for 50 pound and it's 50 ml and that'll last you a long time. But I would say my favourite is definitely Perfume Parlour High Grandeur. Second to that is KDJ's and third is Doers. But equally, very good. A lot of them are very, very good. Um, I, you know, apart from that very, very small sample, I will never buy a bottle. So I was saying, I get cut off from my video, no enough memory. Um, I will never buy a bottle of Hawks Lux, um, the original, at 2500 Unless I come into a loads of money and just go to Harrods and splash out. But my budget doesn't allow that. These are my alternatives i'm sure there's others out there but these are the three that i can see that are stick out amongst loads of others i'm sure there's loads of other companies that do similar but these three stick out as i say perfume parlor first kdj second do a third they two are very close um as in who would get first place kdj is excellent so is perfume parlor value for money uh, and I would say Perfume Parlours is definitely what I smell to the original. That's the closest one to the original, and by my nose anyway. Other people might disagree, but that's that's their opinion. But anyway, just a kind of quick honest opinion. Um, I'm, I'll hope to do at least one honest opinion every week, and I'll try and search for bargains for people or alternatives to expensive fragrances. But... I hope everybody has a good Christmas. Take care. Bye for now.